All right, it's about seven o'clock or so, 7.30. And we're gonna see how long it takes to get this cabin up the temperature. There's the moon. And yeah. video I did a week ago we had another about two inches of snow dump so we probably had about 16 inches altogether and about two days after that it dropped down to minus 20 not too bad after that look at this guy blown right over um, after that it just warmed up and out here they're called a Chinook and when a Chinook comes blowing in it can last a day or two or three it's lasted almost a week. Um, you get plus temperatures in the day. So we got up to about 10. It still gets cold at night, but uh, it's really warm out. All the snows, well, not all of it, but a lot of it's melted. So that's kind of cool. We didn't get a lot of Chinooks last year, but uh, um, this is early too. So things are looking good. I know we're going to get some more dumps here, but uh, in the meantime, I'm still getting wood. This plant hiding from the snow. It's still green. <laughs> Just checking the oil on this thing. You gotta pump the oil on these old guys. This should be hanging on the door. Beauty. So yeah, a lot of snow melted in here for sure. Like a couple feet with this Chinook. This had three feet of snow in it a week ago and now check So I'm just gonna get a coffee going here and hopefully it's not too windy to talk down low here. We'll see. So here's the deal. I've got my pack with me, my usual stuff. That guy is usually on my belt, but I'm not far from the truck really. So it's not bad, it's about minus eight degrees. Like I said, it's pretty warm um, with that Chinook coming through here. It's gonna drop down here soon enough, but I'm really loving it and taking advantage of this nice weather. I'm gonna make a coffee here. And what I usually have, obviously, is water purification system. Um, this guy I got recently, it's kind of cool. So anyway. So the deal is with these guys is it's a hard water bottle so you can't squeeze it the only way it filters is if you suck it out of the, the hose here use the straw okay so that's not great if you're going to put this into a uh, boiling container or a pot or pan whatever so i had the squeeze kind it looks like a water bottle but it's soft rubber and you can just fill it up with anything you want and squeeze it into it so this isn't going to work for today's application it's great if you're hiking and stuff but if you have to cook it's not really that great drink it straight out of the river. That didn't take long, I don't know, maybe three minutes. But the wind's blowing too, so. Anyway, I'm gonna dump a couple of these guys in. I didn't clean this out from the last time I used it. 
but I should. The wood's nice and dry now. Obviously, it's been in here for a week out of the snow. No problems. So it's 7.38 p.m. Let's see how long this takes. It doesn't take long for that fan to kick in. So it's been about an hour and a half and this guy is almost at plus 10 Celsius. So it's nice and cozy in here. Realistically, it wasn't that cold in the first place. I mean, minus eight. You know, you just, you could sleep in that, no problems. But uh, it's gone up almost 20 degrees Celsius in an hour and a half. So that's not bad at all. Okay. 